Hey everyone, today we'll be setting up our Arctis 7 gaming headset. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box. The Arctis 7 comes with a micro USB charging cable, a wireless transmitter, and the mobile cable. To set up your Arctis 7 for PC or Mac, you'll need the wireless transmitter. First, you'll connect your wireless transmitter into your PC or Mac. If you want to connect your Arctis 7 to your PlayStation 4, connect your wireless transmitter into your console. To power your headset on, press and hold the power button for at least 3 seconds. You'll hear a tone and the power button will illuminate. If you want to connect your headset to your mobile phone or Xbox, simply use the 4-pole 3.5mm extension cable. Your Arctis 7 already comes paired to your transmitter, but if you need to pair it again, press and hold the transmitter pairing button for 5 seconds until the LED begins blinking rapidly. With the headset off, press and hold the power button for 6 seconds. Next, you'll want to be sure engine is installed and updated. If you need to charge your Arctis 7, simply use the micro USB charging cable by plugging it into your headset and your PC. To mute your mic, simply press the button. If the mute button is out, it is muted. To change your volume, scroll the dial on the left ear cup to adjust. Hey everyone, today we'll be setting up our Arctis Pro wireless gaming headset for PC. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box. The Arctis Pro wireless comes with a transmitter box, a USB audio cable, a power cable, a mobile charging cable, a mobile audio cable, an optical cable, two batteries, and a pop filter for your mic. To connect to PC, you'll need the USB audio cable and optionally the power cable. First, connect the USB audio cable from the mini USB jack on the transmitter base station to your PC. This USB connection will power on the transmitter, but if you would like the transmitter to always stay on in order to charge your spare battery, you can optionally connect the power cable from the transmitter to a USB power source. In your sound settings, click playback and set your Arctis Pro Wireless game as your default device. Next, set Arctis Pro Wireless Chat as your default communications device. Click Recording and set Arctis Pro Wireless Chat as your default input device. Now you're ready to power on the headset. Press and hold the power button for 2 seconds until the white LED illuminates. To use Bluetooth, simply push the button next to your power button. It will illuminate blue to let you know Bluetooth is on. If there are no paired Bluetooth devices, it will go into pairing mode automatically. On the device you would like to pair with, make sure Bluetooth is enabled, then select Arctis Pro Wireless. Your Arctis Pro Wireless comes with two batteries. One can always be charging by placing it into the charging slot on the side of the transmitter base station. The other comes pre-assembled in the right ear cup of the headset behind the magnetic speaker plate. Swap batteries by simply taking off the speaker plate and replacing with the battery from the transmitter. Further customization and features like Discord integration, download SteelSeries Engine software.
1972. Atari introduces one of the first ever video games with sound to the world. As available technology improved from there, audio has been increasingly implemented by game designers to provide an added dimension to the gaming experience. Fast forward to now. Three-dimensional sound has become an indispensable element in today's modern games, providing additional auditory information to the player beyond what the eye can see. Enemy to the left, altered terrain, about 100 meters away. create a perfect gaming audio experience. Sound quality, comfort and durability, communication, wireless capability, and ease of use. Naturally, sonic precision is key in headphone design. Sound quality is dictated by the materials used and the size of the drivers. The speakers amplify the audio signal using a magnetic field to generate motion in a coil, and a speaker cone to project the sound signal through the air. The wider the driver, the more air is pushed, and the louder the speaker. During gameplay, headsets are used for long durations, so comfort is vital. The challenge here is that human heads differ dramatically from person to person in size and shape. In order to maintain a high standard of comfort for everyone, a balance clamping force distributes weight across a larger area. Adjustable parts help one pair of headphones fit each individual perfectly, while maintaining the headset's durability with tough materials. Memory foam ear cushions adapt to each user, even those wearing glasses. Leatherette covers are recommended for maximum sound isolation. To reduce heat buildup, breathable cloth materials are used for areas directly in contact with skin or with cooling gel-infused ear cushions. In multiplayer games, communication is paramount. As the sensitivity of microphones increases, ambient sounds may get picked up by omnidirectional microphones. For this reason, in noisier environments, unidirectional microphones are preferred, detecting sounds from a single direction rather than a 360-degree area, which goes a long way in improving voice clarity. With wireless technology, it's important to ensure that input latency is reduced to 100 milliseconds or less to avoid a noticeable lag. Input latency of less than 20 milliseconds is imperceptible to the human brain. Ease of use lies at the heart of gaming. A good gaming headset needs tactile feedback and responsive fine-tuned control of the speaker and microphone. The ability to adjust game volume independently from voice chat volume and the ability to mute the microphone separately gives gamers the level of customization necessary to come out on top. You'll forget you're even wearing a headset.